In this factory in the city of Xiamen, there are more than 1,000 workers, and most of them are from mainland China. All except their boss, Han Yinghuan, who is from Taiwan. He was one of the first Taiwanese investors to come to Xiamen more than 30 years ago. We are all Chinese. The two sides of the street are also a family, and we have 100% support from our compatriots here. And he says recent tensions in the region haven't dampened his confidence in opportunities for collaboration. We always hope that two sides can integrate and develop, and not argue over trivial matters. Han is the type of success story Beijing wants to highlight, an example of cross-strait success. But his views don't represent the majority in Taiwan. Opinion polls have repeatedly showed only a small minority support unification in the long or short term. These tour groups waited eagerly for their first glimpse of Taiwan. It's a short journey of just three kilometers from China's Xiamen to Taiwan's Kinmen Islands, and you can see them just behind me there. This is about as close as we can get traveling by boat from the mainland. Last month, China carried out air and sea drills, its People's Liberation Army, or PLA, simulating an encirclement of Taiwan. What I expect um, moving forward is uh, a, not necessarily risk of conflict, but certainly um, the potential for miscalculation, for accidents and for misunderstanding. The current situation is, is quite risky in terms of that um, lack of crisis communication mechanisms between the two countries and the heightened activity around Taiwan by the PLA. For these travelers, the coast of Xiamen is more a holiday hotspot than a geopolitical flashpoint. But many people come here just to see Taiwan from a distance. I hope our motherland will be reunified soon. All Chinese people dream about this. China is developing very well and the Taiwan is not. The Communist Party is doing a very good job. Even the children aren't just here for fun on the beach. This group is known as the Young Pioneers of the Communist Party, led by Chinese soldiers who are teaching them about patriotism and reinforcing the message of One China. Jessica Washington, Al Jazeera, Xiamen, China. Let's discuss this with Denise Rudich.